Hey guys, and welcome to my macro painting tutorial. And uh, like with uh, most of my foil baits, and in this case glitter uh, baits, I always start by adding the uh, white belly. And uh, I'm actually gonna paint it pearlescent later on. But the kind of uh, pearlescent paint that I have is kind of transparent so I want it to pop up more and this is just the way to do it. Now that I have uh, the base or the belly painted as white I'm gonna start adding that pearlescent color to the uh, to the belly and I actually blend the line between the uh, opaque white and the glitter base just to give it a nice little effect um, I mean, this is hardly a natural looking bait, but um, it gives a nice little added effect, at least I think. And I usually do this all with all my natural looking uh, paint jobs. I'm gonna add a line of yellow on the flank now, and. Uh, Next, when I start painting the back as blue, this uh, yellow and blue are gonna mix and they're gonna create uh, a green shade. And as we all know, uh, when you look at a mackerel, it, it does have a little bit of green on it as well. Alright, now I'm gonna start adding a little bit of blue on the back. And I'm not actually aiming for a natural looking uh, shade here, this is more or less going to be a shock color. And if you are actually going for a, a completely natural looking uh, macro paint job, I would suggest that you add a little bit of black on the paint uh, to make it look a little bit more darker. Of course, you can add a little bit of black um, on the next layer as well. but I usually end up actually mixing it to the color itself. Here you can see I am going over the uh, the yellow uh, to create that uh, green sheen that I was talking about earlier. And a few more touches and I'm gonna be done with this. So I thought that added detail I would add a scale pattern on the back side and I'm not gonna go too crazy with uh, with contrast, so I actually painting this in a um, pearlescent white, which doesn't usually show up too much, just just a little bit. And uh, let's take these curtain nips off, and I'm gonna show you what it ends ended up looking like. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it does have a faint uh, scale pattern on the back side. Before I start painting the gill plates, I add a, a little bit of black on the cheeks to um, give it a um, nice shading effect. Uh, when I actually paint the uh, gill. 
what I'm gonna start painting the gear plates. And uh, usually I have the bigger stencil actually fixed to the lure. Uh, this just helps me align the gills a little bit better. And now you can see why I actually added that uh, black spot on the on the cheek. It gives a nice shading effect when I actually start painting the gills here. And uh, let me just take this off and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. There we go. I'm gonna start uh, painting the macro bars on the back side. I just uh, spray it quite gently and lightly. I uh, usually like to have uh, the bars a little bit transparent so I don't usually go overboard with this. And I'm sure some of you guys are interested in knowing how I did the stencil. It's basically just uh, I uh, draw it on a paper and then just cut it with uh, a carpet knife. And uh, let me just take this off. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And there we go. Nice little. Uh, macro bars. Next up I'm gonna start doing the uh, fins on the side. Um, this is pretty straightforward. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this in another, another of my videos here. And well I just figured I would actually add this stage here as well. I mean I might as well. Touches here and there, and I'm gonna take this thing off and show you guys what it looks like. And there we go, nice little macro fin. All right, guys, and as one added detail, I figured I would do a blood uh, trail coming out of the gill plates. I sometimes do this on some of my uh, natural looking paint jobs and never done it here on my channel so I figured I would uh, show you guys how to do that. Basically what it is is a well controlled dagger stroke. And let me just take this off and show you guys what it looks like. And there you go, nice little blood trail coming out of the gills. Alright guys, as always I figured I would show you guys what the end result uh, ended up being. So let me just pick this up and zoom in a little bit. And as you can see it ended up looking pretty cool. Should catch a pike or two. At least I think so. And well if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of mine uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like the video of course and all that jazz and uh, I guess I see you guys next time again <laughs>